Hello, welcome to the vlog. Today I shall be making a card using these fab new stamps that I've had through. These stamps have um, some MDF shapes that match with them. So you can see you'll be able to stamp straight on there and create some wonderful effects, some great effects with these. So hopefully today I'll show you how I make a card with these products. I've done some of the prep already because I've created a background using the Cosmic Shimmer Crackle Paint. Um, it takes quite a while to dry so I've prepared some earlier so it can dry and I'll show you this on the card. I'll show you what I've done. I took a piece of um, foundation card and I covered it with um, Cosmic Shimmer the Colour Cloud Blending Ink. I used three different colours um, Decadent Grape, Ocean Blue, and the Basil Leaf. So, all I done was took the, the ink to the paper and just created a, a random background using my sponges. I'll just take the different colours and just put some colour down on the card. The majority of it will be covered up, but I wanted to create the colour so that when the crackle paint cracks you can see this through, through the cracks of the paint. So I'll just You can see how vibrant the inks are by doing it this way. I'm not too fussed about blending them properly. I just want to get a good base colour down. So I shall set this up and then I shall use this background at a later date to create something else. I'll just show you how I created the background I'm using today. So there we are. You can see with a bit of work I will be able to blend those colours in together. So what I took next, I have a spatula and some of the crackle paint. This is a lighter crackle paint and it's uh, the vanilla. Um, it's got full instructions on the side water based so it's easily cleaned up if you do get into a mess but the thicker the layer the better the, the crackle effect will be and obviously the longer it takes to dry so from experience I found it easier just to pour the paint straight onto, onto the card and I take the spatula and just spread it a bit like butter over your project. Now I'm doing this straight onto card um, which is quite porous and it will eventually make the card curl as you'll see um, from the piece that I'm actually going to be using in a second. Um, this can go on all mediums, you'd be, be great to use on MDF obviously that will hold its shape better so we just spread it on like that and allow that to dry. You can get some lovely texture on there. So I'm just going to leave that to one side. So this is the effect that was created. You can see I used the blue and the green in the background if I can show you that the paint has actually dried different thicknesses which allows different amount of colour to come through and you can see the crackle effect there. You can see the paper has distorted a little bit. So I'm just going to cut this down to size. Now that it's dried you'd be able to put some paint effects over the top of that you'd probably be able to 
sponge a little bit more colour cloud ink over or some gilding polishes, some gilding wax, just to change the effect. I do actually quite like the, the colour there. So I may add a little bit of gilding wax just around the outside, very lightly, but I shall keep the majority of it like that. I shall use the Enchanted Gold Gilding Wax, this is my favourite at the moment, it's very subtle so apologies if it won't pick up on the camera, but it'll add just a pearlescent sheen which I think will go, go lovely with the, with the light colour of the, the paint there. And use uh, gold gilding wax over the over the crackle paint there to give you an old metallic effect and look. That's something I might have to try another day. I should be making this up into a C6 card. Um, I've already pre-prepared the card base and the layer this crackle paint will sit on to. So I think just to keep this tonal I shall take some of the colour cloud ink and just gen gently colour around the outside of this layer here. If you use the same colour ink as you used in the background the colours will tone in beautifully. You can see that on what was once quite a vibrant green that I used on the background, if I use just the minimal ink that I have on the sponge, the colour really becomes quite a pastel shade. I shall add some blue into that just to add it turquoise and I should take off quite a lot of the ink there onto a paper towel and just blend a little bit around the edge there. Also I'm going to add an MDF shape, one of these speech bubble shapes onto the front of the card. Um, I wanted to stamp on it and colour it so before I've done that I've primed the shape with some just some white gesso. So that means that I can add some colour now onto the top of this again using the colour cloud and I can just blend Pen some ink gently onto there. As the Colour Cloud ink is water based, it dries really, really quick. So we don't have too much drying time in waiting for this. That means I can go in and take the stamp I'm going to use a black archival because I know this, this gives a really good true black impression Right, this is going to be a card for a teenager, happy birthday card with a tip for a teenager. And what I want to do is make this MDF shape like a, a magnet so they'll be able to take it off. Um, so I think I will use either, I think I'll use the Enjoy, I'll stamp that in the centre. And that will sit on our stamp. 
on our front of our card. Obviously we need to put a greeting. And I was going to put the happy birthday sentiment just up the top here. So I've taken a piece of the foundation card again and I shall add colour to this so that it matches the the background. Before I attach this down onto its layer, I'm going to add some ribbon and some twine to colour tint this. Colour tint the ribbon again with a colour cloud. It's a perfect ink to be able to do that with. Make sure everything's coordinated but it doesn't leave the, the ribbon too wet and say it dries so quickly. It's a brilliant ink to be using. You'll notice there that I'm using red tape again on the back of this because the card buckled quite a lot under the um, with the use of the the crackle paint. I just felt that the red tape would be stronger just to pull it all into position. So I can attach that there. So I'm going to take some twine and wrap this round. This will just tie in the black of the ink of the sentiments. I think it gives quite a modern look to the card also. Wrap that round a few times. I should just use a bit more twine and just tie a bow to finish off that at the front. Now I did mention this, I did want this to be a magnet so that they'd be able to take this off and use this either on their fridge or wherever else teenagers may want to use. It's a lovely idea so I'll have some self-adhesive magnets here. I'll just cut a strip to attach to the card. Unfortunately, this magnet's a bit bendy, so it may need coaxing into place. So I shall use some red tape. And some of the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. We'll just hold that into place there for a second. Make sure that takes. Make sure it stays there. We'll attach this to the back of the MDF. There we have the birthday card with the crackle paint background, MDF shapes and using the new clear stamp set, the stitched speech bubbles by Creative Expressions. Thank you for joining me again today, I hope to see you again very soon.